shame on you. You watched my best three-way switch video, and just as soon as the light clicked on and you understood it, you shut it off and went back to your regular YouTube feed. Well, if this is you, I'm going to tell you just what you missed. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician. And in this video, we're going to pick up where you may have left off in my best three-way switch explanation video ever. Now, if you haven't seen that and you don't understand the concept of three-way switches yet, please, I've linked in the description below that video, so go watch it. Once you understand it all, I urge you to stay with it through the duration of the video because you'll learn about four-way switches briefly in that. But if you get three-way switches and you want to understand the four-way, then you've come to the right place. We're going to take a deep dive into the four-way switch. So when do we use a four-way switch? Well, you need a four-way switch when you want to switch a, a light or a group of lights from more than two locations. So a common application for a three-way switch would be either end of a hallway, but you want to also say add that switch at the top of the stairs to turn those lights out if you've gone upstairs and you don't want to run back down to turn them off. So in that case, anything more than two locations, you need to add a four-way switch. And you can add as many of these as you'd like, but a common, common application would be, say, three to five areas that you might want to turn on those lights, like you're entering a living room from the kitchen area, from the hallway, from the front door. There's your three locations, and you need a four-way switch. All right, so I'm going to take you through my infamous whiteboard drawings here and just show you how the three and four-way switches work together. So, like I said, if you understand the three-way switch, here's a three-way at the top, a three-way at the bottom, and this is our four-way, the star of today's show right here in the center. So you understand that here's our power coming in on that black wire. The orange here represents a neutral. Let's just get that out of the way right now. You're going to have a two wire in plus ground, of course. But we've got the neutral coming into the first three-way, spliced, off to the four-way switch, spliced through, off to the next three-way switch, spliced through. Always continuous neutral to everything. So there's your neutrals. Let's forget about those for a while. So now you know that a three-way switch Either it goes like this, connects from here to there, or it connects from here to there, depending on the position of the switch. So let's take this position, for example. All right, so power coming into the common. The switch is in the down position. It's going to go to this traveler, which we're going to have as a black wire. So these are three wire cables now between all the switches. That's three wires, white, black, red, plus a ground, of course. We've left that out for simplicity. So coming on to the four-way switch, and then back to this three-way switch, just to finish up with those, let's say this switch is down, it would be on to the light, okay? But let's see what happens in the four-way switch. So what it does is it is either going to be in one position, it connects these two sets of terminals together, okay? So let's follow it through again. Power coming in, first three-way, common, switches down, comes down on this black traveler wire, goes through the four-way switch, on to the three-way switch. That switch is in the down position, and your light is on, okay? Now, let's switch any one of these, and you know what happens. So if you understand the three-way switches, you take and turn either one of these guys to the other position, the path is broken, the light's off until you change the path again. So back to focusing on the four-way switch. Let's make everything on again. So that's in the down position. Light is on. Someone comes and switches the four-way switch to a different position. What happens with it is now it crisscrosses. So follow it again. Power coming in through the common onto the traveler. That switches down. This switch, somebody moved the position of it, turned it to the up position or whatever it might be. Now the power is coming down on this red wire, hits this three-way switch, nowhere to go. The light is not on. Come along to this three-way, turn it to the up position, now your light's on. So as you can see, no matter where you are in this circuit, if the light is on or off, you can change the status of that light or group of lights by moving any one of these switches. Let's try it again. 
So now the guy comes along, turns this switch up. All right, so following it through, power comes in, down on the red, crisscrosses over to the black, comes down to this three-way, no power. No power to the light. Till you switch either that switch or you come back to our four-way, the star of today's show, and they turn it back the other direction. Now, power in through the common to the traveler, straight through the four-way, onto this common of this three-way, over to the common, and the light is on. Again, switching any one of these will turn it off. All right, now I'm gonna show you a close-up of an actual four-way switch, and I'm gonna tell you the most common error that people make when purchasing a four-way switch. On a four-way switch, these terminal sets on the back will be labeled input and output. So look for that, make sure that your switch is in the right box at the, the, at the Home Depot or wherever you're buying it from because I've seen four ways and double pole switches get mixed up. So I'm gonna show you the difference and how they're labeled but it's so important to open that box if you're buying it in a box to check to make sure that it is actually a four-way switch and not a double pole switch because what a double pole switch does instead of crisscrossing they look exactly the same in most cases but they're labeled differently they're called line and load in a four -way, in a double pole switch so what a double pole switch does is simply this if it's on those are connected if it's off it's just like two single pole switches operated by one toggle. So that's also called a double pole single throw or a double pole switch. So you got one mechanism that turns both these either off or on. And as you can see, all that would do in this circuit then, you would be able to interrupt the path of the current and you would be able to shut off that light with this switch regardless of the positions of the other three other two way, other two three way switches. So I'll show you a close up of those switches. Okay, so bear with me here. I'm gonna to try to do my best to give you a good steady close up of these two switches and how you can make a mistake purchasing a four way switch. I've had many questions over the years, people telling me, hey, my four way switch network does not work. And the first thing I ask them is, are you sure that you picked up a four way switch? Because have a look here at Leviton, for example. These two look awfully similar in the box and they look physically sa the same as well. But you look and see one says a switch, double pole, back and side wired. And the other one says a framed switch and that says side wired four way. So also you can have somebody that opened the box and mixed them up or else threw one box into the other shelf location. So be very, very careful. Let's have a look at the back side of these to see the difference. Okay, so taking it out of the box, here is the double pole switch. You see, it says on the toggle there, that's the off position. And that, sorry, it's hard to think backwards here when you're trying to work with the camera. And that's the on position. Flipping it around to the back. We're gonna do our best to get that focused in and you can see one set is called line and the other set is called load. So now let's take a close up look at the four way switch. As you see, there is no indication of on or off on the handle, no indication. And then looking at the back, we're gonna go in for a nice close up. And you can see there input and output as opposed to line and load on the double pole switch. All right, so now we understand the difference between a four-way switch and a double pole switch. Now let's go, if this isn't solidified in your mind yet, I'm gonna take you to the animation from my program, The Basics of Household Wiring, and we will show the animation. Now let's see how this four-way switch setup will function when electricity is flowing through the circuit. Incoming current will arrive first at the first three-way switch's common terminal. With the switch in the down position, the current will pass through to the left traveler terminal and travel along the black traveler wire until it reaches our four-way switch. 
Here, with the switch in the down position, the current will pass down through the switch and continue along this black traveler wire until it reaches the second three-way switch. Once the current arrives here, it will pass through to the three-way switch's common screw if the switch is in the down position. In this case, the current has an unobstructed path through the circuit to reach and illuminate the light. Let's back out so we can see this path clearly. The benefit of a four-way switch setup is that at any switch along this path, you will be able to turn off or turn on the light. Notice how the path of the current is affected as we turn off and turn on the flow of current. A complete circuit is broken or created every time there is a flip of the switch. Okay, so just to give you a practical application of how you would add a four-way switch into an existing three-way switch network, let's look at my demonstration board here. And before you comment that uh, this is a poor job of electrical wiring or anything, keep in mind this is just a teaching tool I use for different scenarios. So I'm always pulling wires in and out and showing different examples of what I'm trying to teach. So what you have here now is power coming into this box on this two wire. Here's the three-way switch. I've got a three-wire going over to the other three-way switch and a two-wire up to that light. So this three-way network functions as it should. Now, if you're going to add a four-way to it, you would basically want to get into the middle of this three-wire between the two three-ways. So always remember to add a four-way network or to have a four-way network, you have to start with a three-way switch and you have to end with a three-way switch. In between, you could put as many four-way switches as you'd like. So the best way to do this would be wherever your location might be. If you were lucky enough to have enough slack and that's where you wanted your new four-way, you would just cut this switch, this wire, this cable, I'm sorry, put it into a box and put your four-way here. But in all likelihood, you're not going to have enough length. So you would have to shut off the power, of course, undo your splices, pull the three-wire cable out of both boxes, and add a new length to wherever your new four-way is going to go. So from the first three-way to the four-way, out of that four-way with another three-wire to the last three-way and up. And so if you looked at the most simplest form, cutting this cable here, you would splice back your neutrals together and you would put your inputs on black and red coming from one switch and your outputs on black and red heading over to the last three-way in the network. So that concludes my best four-way switch explanation ever video to go along with the three-way switch video. Thank you very much for watching. I would so appreciate if you gave this a like and if you subscribe to my channel, we're nearing that magic 100,000 subscribers. So I hope you help me get there. And please leave a comment as well in the comment section here. Tell me anything you'd like to see in future videos and let me know what you think of this one and click that notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. Thanks again for watching. Terry Peterman, The Internet Electrician.